Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today I'll be talking about a type of pharmacy calculation called temperature conversions. And if you find this video useful, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So first we'll begin just talking about temperature measurements. Um, there are two temperature scales, the Fahrenheit and Celsius scale, and both are measured in degrees. So you have degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius. Um, Fahrenheit is used in the United States as the standard temperature measure. Celsius is the metric system measurement of temperature. It's used in science because its scale is shaped around when a reaction will take place. So for example, zero degrees Celsius equals the temperature that water freezes. In Fahrenheit, this is 32 degrees. And 100 degrees Celsius is the temperature that water boils. In Fahrenheit, this is 212 degrees. So you can see that those are easy numbers um, to remember because that's when reactions occur. Now we'll talk a little bit about Fahrenheit versus Celsius. Um, Fahrenheit temperatures are typically much higher than equivalent Celsius temperatures, but differences get smaller the lower you go in temperature. And I have a chart here that shows the common Fahrenheit and Celsius equivalents. And uh, these are good to know just so you have an idea of the differences between the Fahrenheit and Celsius um, temperatures. Um, the boiling point of water is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 100 degrees Celsius. Normal body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 37 degrees Celsius. Controlled room temperature, uh, it's 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, um, or 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Many times drugs are specified to be stored at controlled room temperature. Um, freezing point of water is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or zero degrees Celsius. And parity, this is the point at which the two temperature units are equal. Parity for Fahrenheit and Celsius is negative 40. So this means um, negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit equals negative 40 degrees Celsius. That's the point at which they are equal. Um, now we'll talk about the temperature conversion formulas. So Fahrenheit and Celsius units are not proportionate. So conversions require a formula. You can't just do a ratio calculation with these it's because their units are not proportionate. So there are two formula types. Um, there are plug-in formulas or an algebra formula. And the best thing to do is just to choose the formula that's easiest for you because um, these formulas have to be memorized. Um, so the plug-in formulas for Fahrenheit and Celsius conversions, there are two of them. Um, Celsius times 1.8 and that's in parentheses, so it means you do that part first, plus 32, that will give you the degrees Fahrenheit. And then to calculate the degrees Celsius, you take the Fahrenheit temperature minus 32, and that's in parentheses, so that means you do that first, then divided by 1.8, so that will give you the degrees Celsius. Then the algebra formula for Fahrenheit to Celsius, um, it's a little simpler to remember uh, as long as you know how to do the algebra part of the math. Um, 5F equals 9C plus 160. And it's, those can be a little difficult to remember, so I have a, some memorization tips, um, just depending on which ones you, you choose to memorize. Um, but like I said, these formulas have to be memorized and choose what's easiest for you. So for the plug-in formulas, um, if you memorize one, the other is backward and opposite. So if we look at these here again, um, the degrees Fahrenheit is going to equal Celsius times 1.8 plus 32. So then the, we look at the one for finding Celsius, it equals Fahrenheit minus 32. So you can see that's backward and opposite, then divided by 1.8. Once again, it's you know, backward and opposite. And if you choose to do the algebra formula, um, you can remember it a little easier by remembering that five starts with F. So it's FF at the beginning. 5F equals 9C plus 160. Now we'll look at some examples and so you can see how to, to work these problems. So the first example is convert 100 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. So if we use the plug-in formula, we're going to take the degrees Celsius times 1.8 plus 32, 
that will give us the degrees Fahrenheit. That's our formula. So we have 100 times 1.8 and that's in parentheses, so we do that part first. That equals 180, then plus 32. 180 plus 32 is 212, so that equals our degrees Fahrenheit. So 100 degrees Celsius equals 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we'll look at the same example, but using the algebra formula. So convert 100 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. We have 5F equals 9C plus 160 is our formula. So we'll just plug in our Celsius temperature here. So we have 5F equals 9 times 100 plus 160. So we do what's in parentheses first, 9 times 100, that would be 900, then plus 160, that gives us 1060. So 5F equals 1060. And then in algebra, um, what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we want to get our F by itself. So in order to do that, we're going to divide by 5. So because 5 divided by 5 equals 1, and 1F, one we can just simplify that and say F. So 5F divided by 5, that will give us F. What we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we have 1060 divided by 5, and that equals 212. So F, our degrees Fahrenheit, will be 212. 100 degrees Celsius equals 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we have example number two. Um, convert 12 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. And first we'll look at our plug-in formula. Um, we're using the same one on this because we're finding Fahrenheit again. So degrees Celsius times 1.8 plus 32. That will give us our degrees Fahrenheit. So we just plug in the 12 for the degrees Celsius. So 12 times 1.8, we keep that in parentheses, means we do that first, plus 32 equals our Fahrenheit degrees. So 12 times 1.8 equals 21.6 plus 32, and that equals 53.6, and that will round up to 54 degrees. So 12 degrees Celsius equals 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we'll look at the same problem um, with the algebra formula. So convert 12 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. And our algebra formula is 5F equals 9C plus 160. So 5F equals 9 times 12, then plus 160. So 9 times 12 is 108, and then plus 160 is 268. So now we have it to 5F equals 268. We have to get F by itself, so we're going to divide by 5. Remember what we do in algebra, what we do to one side, we do to the other. So 5F divided by 5 will leave us with F, and then 268 divided by 5 will give us 53.6. So the Fahrenheit degrees is 53.6, round that to 54 degrees, so 12 degrees Celsius equals 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we'll look at example number 3. Um, convert 86 degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So here we need our other plug-in formula because um, we're converting to degrees Celsius. So it's degrees Fahrenheit minus 32, or that's in parentheses, divided by 1.8. So we'll just plug in our Fahrenheit number. Um, 86 minus 32 equals 54. Then divided by 1.8 gives us 30. So that's our degrees Celsius. So 86 degrees Fahrenheit equals 30 degrees Celsius. And now we'll look at the same example with our algebra formula. Um, convert 86 degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So our algebra formula is 5F equals 9C plus 160. So 5 times 86 equals 9C plus 160. So we're plugging in for our Fahrenheit there. So 5 times 86 is 430. And then we have 430 equals 9C plus 160. And remember in algebra, what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. And so we're trying to get our C by itself. So first thing we're going to do is we have to subtract 160 off of each side. Um, so if we take uh, 160 off, uh, 430 minus 160 equals 270 equals 9C. So now we're, we've got the 160 off, so now we have to get the 9 off Celsius. And in order to do that, 
we're going to divide by 9 on both sides. So 9 Celsius, 9C divided by 9 will be 1C, so we can just write C, and then 270 divided by 9 is 30. So our degrees Celsius is 30. So 86 degrees Fahrenheit equals 30 degrees Celsius. And we'll do one more example, example number four. Um, convert 110 degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So with our plug-in formula, we have degrees Fahrenheit minus 32, that's in parentheses, divided by 1.8. That will give us our degrees Celsius. So if we plug in our Fahrenheit number, we have 110 minus 32, that equals 78. Then divided by 1.8 equals 43.3, that's our degrees Celsius. So 110 degrees Fahrenheit equals 43 degrees Celsius. And now we'll look at that same example with our algebra formula. So convert 110 degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So our algebra formula is 5F equals 9C plus 160. So we just plug in our number here. We have our degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to be solving for C, our degrees Celsius. So 5 times 110 equals 9C plus 160. 5 times 110 is 550, and that leaves us with 550 equals 9C plus 160. So now we're going to subtract 160 off each side, and that will leave us with 550 minus 160, which is 390, equals 9C. Divide both sides by 9 to get our C by itself. 390 divided by 9 is 43.3, and that equals C. So that's our Celsius. So 110 degrees Fahrenheit equals 43 degrees Celsius. Now we'll just look at a summary and some key points about temperature conversions. Um, Fahrenheit and Celsius degrees are not proportionate, so conversions require a formula. Remember, this isn't just a simple ratio calculation. And there are the plug-in formulas or the algebra formula. And just do this the method that's easiest for you. Um, and remember, this, these formulas have to be memorized, so choose the method that's easiest to memorize that formula. So the plug-in formulas for conversion are um, degrees Celsius times 1.8, in parentheses, plus 32 equals degrees Fahrenheit, and degrees Fahrenheit minus 32, in parentheses, divided by 1.8 equals degrees Celsius. And remember, any, when it's in parentheses, that just means you do that part first. And a key way to remember these is that they are exactly backward and opposite each other. And the algebra formula for conversions, remember, are, is 5F equals 9C plus 160. And you just solve for the variable that you need. And when you can remember that by remembering 5F, it's FF. 5 starts with F, and that goes with the F. So thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with others who may find it helpful. And please subscribe to see more of my drug information videos. Thank you.